We just walked up to the markets and look at the change from this morning. I think I was the only customer here this morning. And in fact, it's a great here. Big difference, looking for my coffee lady. There's my coffee lady. Need my afternoon fix. Wake up. I'm back to Beatty. Coffee. <laughs> If you're not used to stairs, do not come here. Wherever you look, all eyes are on you. As I was saying earlier today, it, uh, they very rarely see tourists up here just because of uh, its location. It's nuts. I'm pretty sure my wife did walk down here somewhere. Big change from this morning when I was here. What are you getting? A little coconut shake. Coconut shake. Okay. Oh my <laughs> He is loaded up and not just his bike. He was having a good old dance there before he got onto his bike. Couldn't get it off the kickstand. 
and it was him beeping the horn a few times just to make sure everybody was out of his way. Hey, Sabadee. Ciao, Sabadee, boy. Ciao, Sabadee. What's the last one? Oh, I'm Just no, no. Just no, no. Hello. Hello, Sabadee. That sweet milk bread rolls. Enjoy. Keep it on there. Get it in here. Good. Song. Song pun, only 2,000 kip. Got Jada. Coconut flavoured sticky rice. Noodles, bamboo shirts, sabote. Okay. Cow. Cow. That's good. How? It's not the... It's not... In the river is Kai and this is cow. Okay, what's this from? What's this from? Yeah. From the river. That it's not from the stone? They grow up in the river. Oh, okay. Okay. It looks the same. Looks the same as... Yeah, good going. Okay. Kai, cow both type of moss depends where it grows coconuts and coconut that's pretty damn good mate <laughs> mm. and that's it it's all winding up But you could just sit here for hours, people watching. So many different types of people. Looks like maybe a storm coming, Nene. That's coming this way from... Yeah. It's bigger than when you were time-lapsing half hour ago. Oh, people down by the river. They are doing there. Hanging out by the river. I don't know. How's your stomach? It's still wet. Yeah. Bad. But I think it's still We good. didn't last the markets too long. Uh, Nini's stomach started to do backflips three quarters of the way through her coconut shake. Coconut shake. I only had a few mouthfuls. I'm okay, but I. I. I not put the sugar but she did she did very yeah. very fast yeah cannot yeah. stop her usually when they make the shakes even with the iced coffee yeah. here i found if they put too much sweetener in it too much sugar or sweet milk it even upsets my stomach with how rich they make this drinks here so we we're just wandering uh, wandering back when we seen this walkway down to the river, right at the junction. Namet no, on the left, Nama no, right in front of us. We're walking down here just away from the markets, and Nina's just commented. People are just very happy about their life. That was her words. They're just and it, uh, yeah, just seeing those people at market. There's no rush, no stress. That would just be day in, day out for them. Yeah, there is poverty here, but nobody's hungry. Nobody is hungry here. Yeah, and coming up here yesterday, talking. 
to um, my new Mong mate and the Kamal people. They, they're, they're very happy. They don't know anybody who is unhappy here. You know, it just, it is a different pace of life. Yeah, they miss out on a lot of things we don't have, but are they missing out on them? Yeah, you don't really, you don't really need it until you know of it. You know, and unless you've had it, you don't miss it. These people seem content. You know, you see the people there. They're not in the newest clothes. They don't have the latest phones. Some of them don't have phones. The majority of them probably don't. But are they missing it? And yeah, there's going to be a lot of people who um, probably disagree with the way I think, only because I am a white fella here with money. But until you immerse yourself into this way of life and actually see a lot of people, you don't see them needing anything. You don't see them on the streets. You see more people back home on the streets. You see more unhappiness, more division, more hate. Um, poverty here is different than poverty in a Western society. Much, much different. Poverty here, you can still feed your family, feed yourself, get by. You're, you're much freer to be able to look after yourself and grow your own food. Too many regulations back home to be able to do that. You can't just grow your food and go and sell it at on the side of the road at a market. You need permits, you need licenses. Life is very simple here. The lady that was in the car today was with a red top on, Linda. That's her husband there. And this is his garden here. You say this is his garden, Nene. Does he own this land or is he just allowed to farm it? Not, not, not his land. Not his land, but he's allowed to farm it, is he? Or? Because the, the, the land of the river. Okay. Uh, for the so people can do when they want to move. Just does he have to get permission to grow here? Well, yeah, he has got permission to do it, but he just doesn't. Okay. Okay. And things grow very well here? Plants would grow, vegetables would grow very well here. Yeah. Yeah, v v <laughs> fertile river soil, yeah. Joy. And this is somebody else's. Oh. oh. I'm walking on it. I think it's just land. Yeah. Somebody else's garden we're walking on. <laughs> Those young girls behind us was a couple of many that come down the river and I met to swim of an afternoon with soap, shampoo. That <laughs> Your is hair where, like me now. That is where they bathe. <laughs> Your hair like me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just like it. Just like it. Yeah. <laughs> but no, uh, notice a few people go down there yeah. to have their shower. Well, it's not a shower. Have their bath, a very, bath. very big bath. Big bath. You can jump around and pee in it as much as you like. I think I would much prefer a bath like that than staying swimming cold water rather than standing under cold water out of a tap in your bathroom at home or just dousing yourself with buckets of cold water that would be much better that that'd be me how's your belly feeling Nene? 
Yeah, better. Better. I think she just hooked into the um, the coconut shake. How rich it was. Just you drank it pretty quick. Yeah. You did. Because I'm um, feel. Yeah. Hungry. <laughs> hungry or angry? Hungry. Is it? <laughs> or if you're angry because you're hungry, it's hangry. Hangry. <laughs> yeah. This is our restaurant. Adjacent the off ramp of the bridge. If you come straight across, if you never turn coming off the bridge, you'd be straight up their driveway and into the kitchen. Lao steak mungat style. I had this last night here, guys, and that is what's brought me back today. Just a bit of a chill day today. Uh, this is our last night. This is our second night in Mungat, and our last night. Um, be following this valley out of here going round to Sangkor tomorrow. Have a look around there, but then our next stop is Sapbao. One thing I have noticed too, guys, since we've been up, I'm not sure about Nongkyo, but Samnua and here most definitely, the beef is a lot more tender than what it is in Bianchen. And I noticed the cows are much more similar to the cows I'm used to seeing back at home in Oz. Not like your um, little skinny buffalo type cows. Really enjoying the beef up here. Haven't even tried this tonight yet, so I could be um, making a fool out of myself. No, no it's good. You ever see Lao steak on the menu? It's not a steak, it's a beef stir fry like this. Chili, lots of tomato, lots of onion, very nice, lots of beef. And as I just finished saying, up here in the northeast, excellent beef. Okay. Righto guys, thank you for coming along on our Mungat tour. Off to stop now tomorrow. Yuck, yuck. Yuck, no. See why me and Nina get along so well, hey? We're both as silly as each other. Hello! We've run out of light, guys. See you later. Our host left us candy on the table when you come in. Anybody else have hosts like that? <laughs> 